summertime brings all sorts of festivals and celebrations to Maui. This week on Making Over Maui, we feature the Bon Dance at Lahaina Joto Mission. Are you ready? We're here with Donald Fujii and he is the president of the Lahaina Joto Mission. How are you today? Just fine. Just fine. Yeah. Great. Well, I would like to know a little bit more about the history of Lahaina Joto Mission. Okay. Uh, Lahaina Joto Mission was formed in 1912. So next year, come October, we'll be celebrating our centennial. Wow. 2012, next year. Well, I see you setting up for a festival. Can mm -hmm. you tell me a little bit more about what's going to go on in a little while? Uh, we'd have a one-night event here, uh, which will be coming up uh, next Saturday the 2nd, July 2nd. And we have concessions, we have uh, service here in our temple. We celebrate again the passing of our ancestors, you know, l letting them know that we haven't forgotten them. And this, this is uh, the occasion where all the families get to, get to come and participate as well as uh, enjoy the um, Bon Dance here. So the Obon Festival, it's not just for people that follow Buddhist faith, right? It's for everyone Every, to come That's and right, enjoy. yes. We do have and being in West Maui and on the beach, non-residents sometimes outnumber the residents here. <laughs> well, um, can you tell me a little bit more about the Bon Dance itself? What are, do the dances signify? They're all so fun and everyone gets involved. And Yeah, it's uh, again, it is thought that the um, at this time of the year, our uh, deceased people come back to visit the, the, te uh, the temple grounds and we celebrate their return here. And then the, the significance of the floating lanterns is that we let them return to where they, they're, they're oh. com comfortable with. Yeah. We're here talking with Sensei Hara. Yes. Hello. Hi, Karo. <laughs> yeah. And I would like yes. to know if you could teach yeah. me a little bit more about what Obon season is. Obon is a traditional Buddhist uh, the Memorial Day, mm -hmm. All Souls Day, and also the Buddhist summer festivities. Of course, this obon is developed in Japan and so many rural customs and traditions all combined. Mm -hmm. So the celebration is actually quite different from the district and district. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, especially the, in Hawaii, the bon dance is quite famous. So you welcome everyone of all sorts of cultural backgrounds and religious uh, faith to the bon dance? Yes, all ethnicity and uh, all different uh, faiths mm -hmm. uh, come together. Mm -hmm. And uh, the essence of Obon is remembrance of the beloved one. And remembrance of beloved one is, I believe, the common universal feeling mm -hmm. for all people. Right? If I wanted to come to the festival on Saturday night, which I do, mm -hmm. what time should I come? We'll have a concession stand uh, opening at about 6 o'clock. We do have our teriyaki plate, which we do on, on property here. We do chow fun. We have at least about half a dozen different items, something for everyone. We also have shave ice right next to this building on the side there. Um, and the bone dance starts about 8 o'clock. For eight to ten, all all peoples of all mm -hmm. ages, it's all ethnic backgrounds, all all join in here. And what time does the lantern? Lantern ceremony starts before eight. Uh, there's so much demand for those lanterns that we added another seventy-five. So usually it's seven to eight the service, and then we put the lanterns in. But being that we added more lanterns to meet the demand, uh, we're doing our service six thirty to seven thirty. Hopefully we can float the lanterns before eight. We'd like to thank the members of the Haina Joto Mission for taking the time to chat with us. For more Making Over Maui segments, be sure to visit MauiMagazine.net. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Shake, shake, shake on the